I have moved to the kitchen to talk about one of our favorite topics in life wine and our next guest will really have you feeling good about pouring your next glass yeah that's because a portion of every bottle she sells goes to a local charity and did we mention all the wines are 100 percent texan please welcome jen rossi to the show she's the owner and winemaker at the cause urban winery welcome to the show jen it's great to meet you great to and meet you. congratulations are in order because during the pandemic that's when you started making wine well, I started making wine at home first before the pandemic, but my first commercial wine, this Petite Syrah, I did make during the pandemic. That is How correct. does that Incredible. happen, though? How do you decide to make wine? I mean, did you have a background in knowing how to, the whole process? You know, my passion for wine developed throughout my 20s, and so I had a lot of background about general wine knowledge, and I thought, I want to learn how to make wine. So I started making it at home, and then in 2020, I said, I need to go learn what it's like to work in a real winery, not just in my home office. <laughs> what is it like to use all the big equipment, the, you know, the pumps and all the tanks and, you know, valves and all of these things. I wanted to learn all of that. So I went to Kerrville Hills Winery in Kerrville, Texas. I was just planning on volunteering my time during harvest and learning what a real harvest was like. And I ended up making my first a uh, wine that is now for sale, my 2020 Petite Syrah. That is so incredible. Cool. Yeah, and kind of congratulations. Order. That's amazing. And listen, this year at the Rodeo Uncorked International Wine Competition, again, winemakers from around the world compete in this competition. You won three silvers and one bronze. Was that unexpected for you, Jen? I was so excited that all four of my very first lineup of wines that I have for sale won medals in the Houston Rodeo Competition. We were just kind of chatting the other day how Texas wines are really becoming super, super popular. It's not something you have to travel all the way to the West Coast because Texas finally has some great wineries. Oh my gosh, so many great wineries and we're winning competitions. We're beating out California wines all the time and it's just so exciting. So. Yes, absolutely. And so when I finally have my tasting room in Houston, I can't wait to showcase what Texas can do and have other wineries showcased in my tasting room as well. What do you say we get to tasting some of these wines? Yeah. And uh, maybe you can tell us what we're tasting. And also we wanna know about the charitable component mm -hmm. of your business because you're giving back to a, a multi multitude of charities. Yes, yeah, so each wine is associated with a different charity. So a portion of each of the proceeds of each wine have a different local charity. This first wine is a Viognier. Um, okay. So lovely white wine. This grape does so mm. well in Texas. It's nice on the nose. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, that's really, really good. And I like that it is a little bit hot, uh, cooler than room temperature. It's not yes. freezing, but it's a little bit cooler. It has been sitting on this table for a while. I would chill it a little bit <laughs> a little more. bit. Well, some of them, they need to be drink like really cold mm -hmm. to appreciate mm -hmm. the flavor, but this temperature that it's at is very good. Thank you. Yeah, so this one, part of the proceeds benefit Scouts on a Rescue, which is a dog rescue. It's also where I got my dog, Aww. my husband and I, and um, so he's actually featured on the label. Um, he's he's walking across the Memorial Park land bridge. Beautiful. On my label. I love that on your label too, yeah. the land bridge. That's so nice. Moving on to the rosé, and this supports a fantastic organization, mm -hmm. the Houston Area Women's Center. Correct. Yes. So this rosé, I was so excited about. I think it turned out really well. Yes. Um, it's a rosé of Morvet. So Morved is doing excellent in Texas as well. Okay. It's a grape that actually grows well almost anywhere. It's super hardy, but it's, you know, it's producing beautiful, beautiful Texas wine. It's really, really good. How many grapes have you had to stomp <laughs> over your trial and error? I don't think they do that anymore. <laughs> oh, Aaron. come on. Or, or correct us if I'm wrong. It's part of the wrong. process of you learning. <laughs> Some, you know, everyone always brings up the I Love Lucy clip right? yes. all the time, and they ask, how many times have you been stomping? And you know, you're right, we don't really do that except for fun. Okay. It's really just a fun thing. Okay, I'd like to try that. Uh, <laughs> moving on from the rosé, what do we have next? So we, we actually have um, a Morved, which is a red Morved. So you had my rosé of Morved, and now this is the red Morved. Th these two wines came from the exact same batch of grapes. Wow, that is delicious. Completely different flavors, too. Mm -hmm. It's it's light body, it's fruity, yeah. 
it's great for a hot day, and we live in Houston, so. Nothing better than that. That's, I think that's usually like a question of mine when I'm picking out a red, mm -hmm. is they tend to be very heavy, so the ones that are a little bit lighter mm -hmm. and more refreshing, really. You drink it year yeah, round. And we sure. love that this one supports the Memorial Park Conservancy. Of course, the land bridge just opened. It is a beautiful, uh, it's, it's iconic now in the city, yeah. even though it's brand new. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just gonna get prettier. Absolutely. It will as those trees grow. Okay, <laughs> and last this was your least. first baby, I heard. Yes, it's my first baby. It's a 2020 Petite Syrah. Okay. Um, and I'll let, it's a big, bold red, so. That's so good. Not a bad first baby. The firstborn is always the best. Uh, deep, full bodied, and this benefits the Houston Food Bank. Correct. Well, Jen Rossi, yeah. thank you so much. Congratulations. Uh, by the way, your parents are here. Brad and Amy, they are in the house, and we're glad to have Yay. them here. We, we love having family in the house, so congrats <laughs> so on adorable. all your daughter's success. You can tell by the looks on their faces how proud they are of you. And in the meantime, yes. if you would like to sample some of Jen's wines or purchase some, even better, you can do that next Sunday, March 19th, at the Rice Village Farmer's Market. She will be selling from 9 a.m. until noon. We will also put a link to her website on ours at HoustonLife.tv. Just look for the scene on section. Jen, cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers I to you. It. Delicious and all for great causes. Absolutely. Con congrats on all your success.